balancing three blade props without center holes has always been a problem because most balancers have a rod that is inserted through the prop center and suspended by two magnets and Parrot Bebops have props with no center holes. I'll show you how to build a prop balancer using some parts. So let's get started. Here's some tools you'll need. Some vinyl tape that'll match the prop colors. And a sacrificial motor or an old motor or broken motors with um, some parts that are usable. Um, if you don't want to use a good motor, you can find uh, ball bearings with an inner diameter that will match the motor shaft, which is 0 .0785 inches. We we'll use these vice grips to pry out the shaft, which is epoxied in. Here is the motor shaft we're going to attach it to a structure. You want to use a stable structure. I used vinyl tape to attach it, but you can use the three original mounting screws to mount it to a different structure. Install a prop onto its motor cage. And this is my setup. Mounted the motor shaft bearing to the back side of my lamp because on my lamp I can alter the angle so that when I install a rotor cage with the prop attached that I can allow it to move a little bit freer adjusting that angle. Give it a spin. Now when this settles out, it should have the heaviest part of this assembly facing down. Sometimes it doesn't really stop, as you can tell, it binded. Um, you can vibrate it with your fingers, or you can use a vibrating motor that I've attached to the structure here to allow it to settle out a little bit easier, uh, more precisely anyway. As you can tell here, it's doing it. Now what this means is this would be the heaviest blade and I numbered the blades one, two, three from heavy to light. So one, this was the next heaviest two and this is the lightest three. Now when it settles out I go ahead and add a, a dot to the very top here. The center line shows me where the point is and that would be the place where you start adding vinyl tape or metal tape or uh, glue. I don't really use glue. Some people do. You can use hot glue or low temp hot glue. Um, it's just harder to move. With vinyl tape you can adjust it. Now in the middle here it's a little bit more difficult and precise than if you share the counterbalance weight between the two lighter blades to try to balance out the heavy part. 
But once you do, you can add the tape to the leading edge of a prop, so or the hub, like I said. Now, when you move it towards the center of the hub, it will allow it to be more precise in the finer adjustments. But if you move it out here, it's more instantaneous weight added. You would uh, add it right here, bend it over, try to balance it again. You would adjust this or add more and try to balance out all the weight. When you get it to spin and not stop at any one point, then the prop and the uh, rotor cage are balanced. Now, when you balance a prop and a rotor cage together, you need to maintain the clocking so that when you mark the clocking, when you remove the prop, that you can replace the prop at the same position that it was when it was balanced and maintain the balance of the assembly.